Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am shot like this is the first qualifying round game between Gaia Mada of the Majapahit and Masinissa of the Berbers. Gaia Mada is philosophical and protective and the Majapahit starts with mysticism and fishing. Masinissa is expansive and charismatic and the Berbers start with mysticism and hunting. Starting positions, let's get the resource bubbles on for a moment. Gajamada starts next to river, there is some oil, there is some clams, corn, sugar, gems and another corn around and up here we see some ivory. Starting on the western part of the starting continent, the Berbers Masinissa starts down here on the southeastern part or south middle I should maybe say. Riverside. Two fish, there is a stone, there are sheep, there is copper, there is another sheep, and there are some floodplains up here. So let's get this game rolling. Uh, here we are. 1501, start. Gajamada versus Masinissa in the first qualifying round of the Noble Leaders Cup. Let's see who can get through to the second round. Gajamada is in Hinduism, one city each, and Masinissa in Buddhism. Gajamada first to two cities, they are on two cities each at the moment. 75 turns. Masinissa was first to three cities, now they are on three each. Gajamada is also a little bit weaker than Masinissa at the moment. But there is a lot of free real estate in between them. They are nowhere near touching borders, so they can expand a lot before there is any border skirmishes or conflicts, I believe. Masinissa now up to six cities, and Masinissa is now pleased with Gajamada as well. Seven to six in the city count for Masinissa. Masinissa has a better score as well. 7 to 6 is the city count. Gajamada down to 0.5 the strength. Masinissa is building his empire good here, nine cities now. He is also going all the way to the west as you can see on the minimap. And there are some uh, Berber cities over there. There was um, the potential for going over there uh, by the help of uh, boats without astronomy. So 12 cities Masinissa now. He has managed to get some more land, 12 cities to 9. Going education, Gajamada is going engineering. And then music. 14 cities, Masinissa now to 10, Gajamada. And Masinissa first to liberalism, I just caught that. I don't know what it took, but it is on chemistry right now. Banking for Gajamada, 17 cities now for Masinissa, Gajamada getting the compass. 17 cities to 12 and Gajamada on optics as well. Masinissa then on um, <coughs> well guilds now then after I had to <coughs> a little bit uh, um, Masinissa is on well uh, liberalism now for Gajamada and uh, Masinissa is friendly with Gajamada that was it and uh, uh, he is taking fast I see that uh, <laughs> I can't even mention them before they go astronomy now both of them going for astronomy, Masinissa on printing press after that. 18 cities to 15 with Masinissa friendly towards Gajamada. This and uh, we have... Oh, the workers are disbanding because of lack of funds. Gajamada, what are you doing? You are broke. Did you see those messages on the screen? There were a lot of units that were actually disbanded for the Majapahit due to... And uh, there are privateers, and that may be it, uh, that Masinissa is stealing all the commerce from Gajamada, which means that Gajamada doesn't have enough money to pay for his units. That must be the sound I hear here. Uh, but 22 cities Masinissa, 15 cities Gajamada. Turn 284. And the privateers are plundering must the Berber privateers. They are really doing their jobs well now. Gajamada is down to point to the strength of Masinissa as well. Maybe perhaps some of the units that were deleted, of course. Steel next for Masinissa. Economics for Gajamada. 
But with 26 cities for Masinissa, 27 cities going for railroads, and Masinissa is 10 times as strong as Kajamada. Kajamada is in trouble, he has a big empire, the Majapahit empire is big when you look at the minimap. But uh, given that there are so many privateers, it looks like Kajamada is broke. Yeah, he is broke, and he is spending 80% on gold of his commerce 30 cities for Masinissa now 15 for Kajamada and I simply cannot see how this is going to go well for Gajamada at the moment 5 turns left into electricity for Masinissa military science for Gajamada but you look at the messages in the middle of the screen and you see a lot of privateers that are privateering and stuff like that, it has been so for some time now, 32 cities Masinissa and we do have the war by the way. I didn't really catch what turn they started the war, but here it is. 34 cities to 14, Kajamada on 14 cities and I believe now it's down to 13, yes. Masinissa is going to end up winning domination here unless he signs a peace treaty. 12 cities left for Kajamada, turn 347, 11 cities left now. This is going quickly, and Masinissa also got industrialism there. 11 cities, 10 cities left for Gajamada now, turn 352, 353, 10 cities left. And Masinissa, you are looking to become the dominant party, and there it is, Masinissa won the domination victory, turned 357 in 1937. AD, congratulations, Gajamada ended with 9 cities, and Masinissa is through. Masinissa declared in 1916, turn 336, winning uh, 6 nil in city captures and uh, domination in 1937, turn 357 after 21 years and turns in the war. Also a new cup record has been set, uh, Masinissa did get liberalism in 1400 AD, that's on turn 200, the previous cup record was on turn 201. Let's get uh, take a look at the stats. Exit, and here we have the graphs. Masinissa is the dark one. This is the score. This is the GNP. Production, food, power, culture, and espionage. All in favor of Masinissa. The demographics tab done. Gajamada to the left, Masinissa to the right. 52 million in population at the conclusion of the game. Top six cities and wonders. One, two, three, four, five wonders in the BC era, including the Great Lighthouse, the Colossus, the Oracle, Stonehenge, and the Great Wall. And the top six cities are Masinissa cities. Yes, all six of them are Masinissa cities, and they are relatively large as well. On the statistics, Kajamada built 15 cities, two religions, and currently has 20 workshops, eight farms, and seven towns. He did build a total of 9 Kaitra tributes, 9 granaries, 7 lighthouses, all the way down to 1 Confucian temple. 
current units then 11 workers five longbowmen and four sealot adepts and cannons one galleon he trained a total of 28 workers 14 settlers 13 workboats one x-men is there more yes and there is a horse archer completing the list of units trained let's look at the kills then Eight privateers, two cavalries, and one of the rest down to a transport. The losses. Ten frigates, six caravels, and five grenadiers and longbowmen down to two pikemen. Let's take a look at the numbers of Masinissa then. 33 cities built, five religions, two golden ages, currently on 59 windmills, 48 towns, and 44 workshops. He built 32 xars, 19 lighthouses, and barracks down to five Jewish synagogues. Let's go page down and see a complete page two with an academy at the bottom. Let's go page down again and see one Islamic mosque as the last building on the list. The current units from us in Isadan, 93 infantry, 36 workers, 34 cavalry, down to one great spy. He did train Oops, a total of 44 workers, 37 archers and settlers, 5 triremes, let's go page down, and see one machine gun, completing the list of units trained. The kills, 10 frigates, 6 caravels, 5 longbowmen and grenadiers, down to 2 ships of the line, the losses, 8 privateers, 2 cavalries, and down to 1 infantry. Congratulations going through to the second qualifying round, Masinissa. Let's go and take a look at the victory condition screen. Masinissa did reach 75% of the land area. He also had Algiers as legendary city, 80,000 cultural points there. You can see the rest of the numbers if you pause the video. Let's go take a look at the cities. Kajamada with nine of them. Let's sort them by population and see that Jakarta, Pop 12, Surabaya 10, and then two nine cities, Trovelan and Ende. And you see the numbers there mostly building, well, frigate ship of the line, ship of the line, <laughs> three boats and only four cities building land units. Let's go take a look at the cities of Masinissa then. Let's change to Masinissa of the Berbers. Okay, he has 39 cities. Let's sort them by population. Make sure we are at the top. Tunis and Sama, pop 20, then some 19 and 18 cities, and you see the list. In general, they are all very happy. In general, they are healthy with four exceptions. Base food is in the 40s, low 40s, so that's good, and then 30s. Good, good. Base commerce, 120 in Sirte, that is really good, and then 86, 82, so, so a few good cities there as well. Base commerce is uh, decent, 32 in Algiers, but uh, there you have power, 33 in Tripoli with power, 40 in Madia with power, and 28, so it uh, helps having power. Eiffel Tower built for 88, Taj Mahal for 84, Bula Regia. Pop 6 is the last city on page 1. Let's go to the bottom. Uh, 6, Bula Regia was it. There it is. So Tavandraset is the first city on page 2. And you can watch all the numbers there. Congratulations to Masinissa with the domination win. 1937, turn 357. Going through to the second qualifying round of the NLC. Tomorrow... There will be two league games and a cup game, and the cup game tomorrow is George the First versus Sakaria, and I hope to see you back then. I am Shotlike. This has been the Noble Leaders Cup. Goodbye for today.